Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today I'm looking at the new cigar from Macanudo, the Heritage Nuevo. This is the Robusto 5x50, and it's a takeoff on their Cafe line. Now, a little bit about this cigar and what it currently is, is Ecuadorian Connecticut Shade Wrapper, Mexican San Andreas Binder, and Dominican Palato Cubano uh, filler, along with Mexican. Uh, this is the Robusto 5x50. It also comes in a Toro and a Churchill. Not an inexpensive cigar, so I'm hoping it's good. $12.99 suggested retail for this Robusto. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Going up to $14.99 for the Churchill. So let's see what it's all about. The new Macanudo Heritage Nuevo. Robusto. Nice dome like cap, so it shouldn't be much trouble to cut that. Just uh, some of that curvature of that dome and leave most of it intact. Like that. Okay, the, the, the draw is no trouble either. Very good draw. Yep. That'll be to do it. I had to find flavors right away or pretty much a uh, cedar, a little brown sugar. Cream, a little touch of chocolate, and a black coffee. There is black pepper at around seven and a half. Actually, it's not that bad. Um, fairly sweet start. Interesting that uh, I do indeed get the uh, cream notes and the chocolate notes here initially. More of the cream notes than the chocolate notes, but I do have some little light chocolate notes. I can I can taste them, and they have a little sweetness to it. So let's just see what happens by the first third. Won't be a very long time to wait. It's only a five inch cigar, but let's see what happens by the first third. the first third and the cigar is just you know kind of a basic good uh, you know cigar it's uh there's cedar it's just like i said before okay um the surprising part of it all for me is just medium body it's very uh basic flavors you know cedar brown sugar um, cream a touch of chocolate because you can get that and black coffee the black pepper is very good in the cigar it's it's not anything that uh, jumps out at you but it's not a bad start it's just you know sort of it's a little for me okay not across the board for everybody out there but for me it's a it's a, like a little step up from the basic macanudo um Flavor-wise, if you go very, very, very slow and have a clean palate, because I've had several of these, and I had this is the one I've had today after the apple trick that I use. Please tell me you all know about that by now. I'm going very slow, and I'm getting decent flavors. I'm starting it off at 88. It's, it's, it's not a powerhouse, but it is something that, for Macanudo, has a little bit of power, even though it's only medium body. So uh, we're going to have to see what happens in the second and the final third. But um, that's where it is for me. Nice, basically sweet cigar with basic flavors. Well, end of the second and third. And there's a little more brown sugar now. You know... The flavor notes aren't that much different. There is nice sweetness. It's not a cigar that 
excites me, but it's nothing wrong with it. It's just, it's not a, nothing stands out, but it's not a bad cigar. It's just, you know what's really the surprising part? I think it's medium to full bodied now. It's moving toward full bodied. You know, Macanudo getting that full. But it's not bad. I mean, the sweetness is very good. The brown sugar has upped. There is some cinnamon. The chocolate notes are just the smallest part of all the flavors. But I can still get them. I'm thinking, do I still have chocolate? Yes. The Mexican San Andreas is just coming through. For the second third, it actually has gotten a little better. I would go 89. It's not something, I got to be honest, it's not something that I would gravitate toward, but I'm describing the flavors because somebody out there thinks this is just what they want. My score is what I think of it, but the flavors is what you go by, the description. So it's it's fairly sweet, you know, medium to full, Macanudo. You might want to try it. Price point is not cheap, but probably worth trying. So let's see what the final third brings. As you can see, I'm down to the end. So let's wrap it up. Nothing much changed here except that, believe it or not, this blows my mind. I believe the cigar is full body. The, there is a touch of earthiness that the cigar has developed, and um, especially on the finish, which I didn't even talk about. It's mostly cedar and brown sugar and some of that earthiness maybe a little touch of coffee on the finish decent lingering but black pepper very nice this is um a good basic sweet cigar with some power which is a little unusual for macanudo but it's a nice thing to run across Definitely a Connecticut. You've got the basic Connecticut notes, although there is the smallest thread of chocolate that runs through the, and it seemed to almost decrease here at the end. But uh, it's not it's not a bad cigar. It's just, um, you know, it's not up my alley, but flavor-wise, there's nothing wrong with it. I believe I would go back to 88 for the final third with the earthiness, but it didn't change much. It's basically as good as it was at the beginning. So that would give you an overall score of 88.33. Nothing wrong with a cigar, not up my alley, good basic flavors, has power from the midpoint on. And this is the Robusto. You get, what, an hour out of it, hour and two minutes is what I'm showing. So there you have it. The new Macanudo Heritage Nuevo Robusto. 88.33.